Hey guys, Percival here, and welcome to the virtual world. Today we're carrying on with the tutorials I've been doing, and today I'm going to show you how to make your own 3D model in Vroid. Sorry that I've been leaving you hanging for a week. By the way, I've recently moved back into uni and it's been a bit of a hectic week. I'm hopefully back to uploading three times a week and I will have a solution for the echo problem because it's quite bad. Anyway, this time I'm going to change it into a bit of a tutorial series. As you can see here, I have my own 3D avatar that I made in Vroid and decided I want to show you guys how to make a 3D avatar. Today we're going to start off with the face and then we're going to make our way into importing our model into VRChat. I'm going to show you the techniques I've learned from making Vroid models to hopefully help you guys make, make a nice model. Before we start the video, I see a lot of you guys haven't subscribed yet. If you want to see more videos about VTubing and gaming, then you've come to the right place. I upload three times a week, so make sure you guys stick around. Anyway, with that self plug out of the way, let's get right into the video. So before we get into the whole making of the character, I decided since this is the first episode, I should probably give you guys an overview on, on how to get Vroid for yourself. So to get Vroid, the first thing you're going to want to do is to go to the Vroid website. After that, you just want to hit download and you're done. The link to it will be in the description below. So now we have the actual program running. First, we have the face editor. After that, we've got the hair editor, body editor, clothing editor, general editor, and finally the camera and exporter. Like I said earlier, we're gonna be focusing on the face, so let's go to that. Okay guys, I kind of lost all the audio for this, so I'm sorry. Um, basically, I'm gonna just gonna narrate it for you guys and it'll hopefully it'll all like um, sync up. So yeah, but on the right we have our parameters and on the left we have the design and textures. The parameters will affect the design but not the textures. First we're gonna edit the parameters. The parameters of the design will allow us to change the size and the shape of the section we're editing. So I'm just going to change some of them really quickly. After that, we're going to go to the textures. So first you can see the model and then the UV map. If you draw on the UV map, that'll edit the model. And if you draw on the model, it will edit the UV map. On the right, we can see a brush, which we can draw some new textures onto the model. After that, we can see the shape of the brush. We're mainly going to be using the first and the third shape. Then we have the size mapping. Depending on what you're drawing on, you can choose to draw on the model by using world or draw on the UV map using UV. I usually draw on the UV map. After size mapping, we have the brush parameters where we can change the width and the opacity of the brush. And finally, we have the layer properties where, where we can choose the opacity of the layers and the composition mode. I usually just keep them like this. Now we're going to be editing the texture of the face because honestly, the stock Vroid textures aren't the best. Um, so first we color in the face, just like any color you want, like make sure, like a skin color tone. Then we're gonna add the shades, which is gonna come in when we like model the hair. And just every shade, basically. And then we're gonna shade the back, the neck, well, under the neck. As you can see, like, it's not very, the the skin tone doesn't match the body at the moment. That's absolutely fine because what what's mainly going to happen is that we're going to cover like most skin with the body, but we're also going to be editing like the body as well, the body textures. In a later in a later video. Though. So now we're messing around with the nose. I'm just going to show you how I draw the nose. It's literally just wait for it, a line. Not like that though. <laughs> no, we're gonna. It's, it takes a while to get a good nose, because yeah. Um, the nose textures on the original Vroid aren't the best, so don't don't tell the pics if I said that though. But as you can see, we are gonna get a good ass fucking watch and recall it nose in a second. I think that's it. Yes, that's it. So 
So next I'm going to show you how to draw the mouth. Really easy. I usually do this with the more feminine characters, but like if it's a male character, I'll do it a bit differently. As you can see on my then <laughs> texture. Of course, guys, this isn't the final product. We're still we still got a ways to go before the final product because all so all this could kind of change before the final product. So next with the lips, I've just edited them a bit. Like I like I like to play around with them just a second. Then I like to blur a bit of light refractions off them really quickly. So just basically just draw some blurry lines and then like lighter than the actual lips, just making sure like they look decent. And there we have our lips. So next with the scleras, what I like to do is just completely make them white. I don't like the shades on the um, scleras, I just like them being completely white. It gives it more of an anime tone, I think. Well, I, I, I like to think it gives me more of an anime, it gives it more of an anime tone. And then I do like to get rid of the eye highlight because I like to draw them on. Next, we are doing the irises. Just want to preface: this is not my way of making irises. I got this of a video, which I re which is a really good video, which you guys should definitely check out. Uh, I'll make sure to link in the description, but just showing you guys how I like to make my irises. So first, I take the color of what I'll take whatever color I want. Well, <laughs> fuck, um, I take the color I want and like just cover it really quickly. Just cover the whole eye in it just to make sure it's okay. The best thing with this is to make sure you have the mirror fun function on, just so. They both get um. They both get covered in the same color. I am making this for a friend, by the way. So that's this. I'm not gonna be. I'm not gonna be using this myself. So now we're going to the eyelashes and the um, eye line. Really easy. I'm just gonna get rid of everything because even though it does look decent, I like making my own.
And yeah, that's what we're that's we're done with the uh, tutorial now. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video today. This is the first part of the series. And if you guys want to know what else you can do with these models, then you can check out my video on VirtualCast and the end card up at the top. I probably pointed to the wrong location, but okay. And if you guys are interested in more VTubing content, please consider checking out my channel. And if you want to stay in our little cyber kingdom, then feel free to subscribe and liking. It really, it really helps us towards our goal of total cyber domination. Anyway, I'm not going to log off now, guys. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!